This is Jordan Hare Stadium, one of those passionate environments in all of college football. 87,000 ready to rock and perhaps help create some magic in a place that's seen so much of it over the years. We've got a really compelling contest here. A team that's earned a top 25 ranking heading on the road for a serious test of their poise and their mettle. And we'll see the number 14 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on another SEC team, the Auburn Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The kickoff team on the field now is in. It's set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Stopped at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. I still love to see Oklahoma run the football and be able to show people they can get first downs by running the ball. I know their quarterbacks have been great in recent years. But the Sooners, when they want to be able to run the ball, you know they're going to run it. You still can't stop that offensive line and a great dynamic back. So good job here by the Sooners. Move the sticks. On first down, it's play action. There's a wide open receiver complete. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. I'll tell you what, you're going to load up on this running game and you're going to leave your corners one-on-one. -on -one. You better be ready when you take on Oklahoma. Think about all the receivers they've had over the years. Just off the top of my head, guys like C.D. Lamb and Hollywood Brown, they get left one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to make you pay for it. This receiver showing he's got the quicks to be able to win those one-on-one -on -one battles and soft hands. Good timing and a nice gain for the Sooners. Looking to throw it on first down. Looking to make a big play downfield. Deep shot caught inside the 25. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. And the Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. Grab behind the line, it's Roberts. The ball is loose. The ball carrier recovers it, and the offense will keep possession. The offensive staff just took a collective sigh of relief. But I'd still anticipate that someone's going to pull that ball carrier aside and give them a couple of choice words on the importance of ball security. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Able to pick up just a couple yards. That's good run defense. I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Crucial third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? They'll try to run for the first down. Defense stops him right at the line there. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. They're holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. It's a fake, and it's a fake. They toss it to the tight end. So the gamble does not pay off. They might regret passing up the three points. Now from the pistol formation. Play action here on first down. How about this play design? And I love the aggressive approach, but just sometimes it's tough to execute well enough to get the first down. Or the defense is ready for it. I think there's a little bit both here. down here for this offense. They're going to run it. And he's got it already past the first down marker. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid game. Getting closer to midfield now. Well, that is a first down and a 
definitive way of getting a good push up front. And this back tail, every single year on the plains, Auburn always has a great back, and this guy is no different. And they'll go right back to him on first down. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Back to throw. It's Thorne. Delivers from the pocket complete over the middle. They get him down after the completion. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive backs staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. Shotgun formation here on third down. It's a quick grab. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. Auburn getting set with a first and 10 now. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. Well, this offense has really been moving the ball at will on this drive. And a nice job here on this defense to finally come up and make a nice play for no gain. Important second down play coming up. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. A pop pass on the jet sweep. The pickup is just three yards. Now it's third down and seven. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. This will be an attempt from 52 yards. Let's see if he's got the distance. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. A solid kick. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. But this guy had plenty of left here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. away with three points on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away bringing it out it's Bowman tackled at the 13 not great field position to start the drive okay so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field from the shotgun handoff inside the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. The Sooners come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Back to pass. It's Arnold. Looking for his back. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Offense in hurry up mode. First and ten, they'll look to throw it. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. On the move, but can't find the receiver, and he's brought down. But the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. Quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. From the 
16 yard line it's now second and long and the quarterback keeps it on the option goes backwards losing three yards there but if linebackers and really the quarterback and the defense on this play diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly just blew in and blew up the option play for a loss and this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop the offense pinned back drops back looking to throw for it on third down running back has it on the screen now a lot of times this can be a tough play to defend because you're so concerned with getting pressure on the quarterback. But here the defense does a good job of coming off of coverage and chasing down the receiver. The Sooners will line up to put it away. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. Caught in the backfield, it's Coleman. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. A couple things that really stood out to me here, Chris, on this nice play by the corner. Awareness to be able to see the wide receiver screen, and then the willingness to get involved and run support and make the tackle. Great play. Here's the second down play. Dropping back, it's Thorne. There's a screen pass to the running back. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass. Fooled the defense there. Well, this is great execution here on this screen play to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in the process, Chris, they sent a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. handoff from the shotgun a gain of two yards now it's second down and eight trying to find some room it's Hunter that's a nice wrap up there by the junior they're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long dropping back we're going to throw for the first down caught over the middle it's Hunter game moves it to the 24 that's a fresh set of downs Good job there finding the back of that angle route. The timing was perfect there. Yeah, effective third down play to be able to move the chains. I really like the cut there on the route by the running back, getting across the middle of the field. And like you said, the quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly to give the back a chance to not only catch the ball, but get the yards for the first down. Second down play coming up for this offense. They'll run it here. Tackle, but first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job. No matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. And the wideout goes in motion. And at first down, they go right back to him. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Now the handoff. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Off 
offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. Looking to throw, it's Thorne. Here's a target, and it's complete. And they bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Boy, how about to read here by this quarterback to find his open man and keep this drive moving. Great conversion. And when you're in the red zone, you got to think about getting a touchdown. You want to come away with six points. Now they've got a shot to get it. The offense threatening close to the goal line with a new set of downs. Receiver in motion now. And looks like the quarterback's going to run it. And the ball is knocked loose. Who's got it? They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He's very fortunate he had a teammate who was able to get on top of it. Backed up to the five-yard line now for second and goal. Here's the handoff, testing the middle. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Good job by the offensive line. You get some positive yards, but not quite into the end zone. Now we're going to have a third and goal. We'll see if they can get their first touchdown of the day after settling for three on their first drive. Third and goal. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Auburn. Oh, the defense completely blows it here. They lose the tight end. He's a real option for this quarterback, especially on third and goal. I'm surprised they wouldn't put a big safety or a linebacker right on top of him. He's open. Quarterback made the throw. And they got a touchdown. set up for the PAT. And the extra point gives him a double-digit lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Oklahoma offense is back on the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Grab down the middle. It's Anderson. Tackle made after the completion. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers. And the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out. And you can take advantage of it. On the ground, it's Sawchuck. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. Another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half, and really making them one dimension. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Grab near the sticks. It's Sacha. They wrap them up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. you got to get pressure on the quarterback, but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's found some room at the 45. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. 
He'll take a deep shot here. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. And the Sooners will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Ball handed off. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Here's the handoff. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Here we go, third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. Can he make it to the marker? And he'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. This one is right through. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. After the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And bulldozing his way through. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Of the Auburn offense back out on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. That's good for a first down near the 40. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary, and they bring a certain toughness, too, that catches my eye. The game moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He's going for a big play downfield. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Oh, my gosh, Chris. A missed opportunity to your best receiver with that speed. I'll tell you this. I'm shocked that he actually overthrew. With anything, I'd expect him to underthrow a fleet flitter receiver like this, but he must have anticipated that his receiver could go get it. Just misses him. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Gets the first and still running. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Chris, just think of the list of Auburn running backs. I mean, you see this guy pick up a first down, and you start to see a little bit of Bo Jackson in him. Maybe a combo. Remember those days of Cadillac Williams and Ronnie Brown when they were in that backfield? Trey Mason. Boy, so many great backs that Auburn has enjoyed, and this guy's looking good. And the quarterback keeps it here. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Oh, the read option here, and the quarterback keeps it. I thought he was going to get out and maybe take this downfield for big yards. The defense, very fortunate to keep him to a shorter game. The game makes it second and medium. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. The catch is made down the middle. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. How many first downs is that on his drive? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. Auburn getting set with a first and ten coming up. Ball handed to the running back. 
Picks up two, so it's second and eight. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Looking to pass. It's Thorne. Looks to the left for a quick... It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. Look out. He's got some space. Past the 50. The 30. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Wow, what a play. Defensive score. That is a game-changing play by this defense. Well, game-changing. The momentum now is on their side. They've got confidence that they can finish this game off and get a win. If they do, we're going to remember this play right here. Here's the point after attempt. And it's up and good. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Jackson bulldozing his way through those tackles. Coverage team brings down the returner. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a pick six, a devastating play. they got to recover from that right now. They've been down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. That completion makes it second and short. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. Big guys up front, line up. It's first down. To throw, it's Thorne. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Anytime a quarterback and a receiver are in sync, you've got a chance to make a very successful play. Great job here by the offense. Second down after that previous play. It's a quarterback keeper. It almost is like the quarterback just said to himself, I've got this. I'm going to find a way to pick up this first down. He gets the first, and keep the chains moving. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. Going to run it. It's Hunter. The junior able to bring him down quickly. backfield offense spreading the field with five wide quarterback wants to throw it on second down Hunt over the middle it's Burton breaks a tackle on the play makes a decent game quarterback looks downfield to make this throw he wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down but instead gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards critical third down play for this offense right here Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Makes a quick grab. Run down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down, and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning.
Auburn getting set with a first and ten now. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. Quick throw to his receiver. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. Makes the grab. It's Burton. Got space, looking to score. He takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! Simple throw, all the yards after the catch. Explosive play by the receiver to score. Just a dynamic, athletic playmaker. As simple as you said, Chris, just throw him the football, he makes the catch, and then all the fireworks are after the catch, and this defense just unable to corral him. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so they're in front now, 17-10. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Sooners' offense is back out on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. Grab down the middle. It's Anderson. You know, they don't pick up the first down here, but they do get some positive yards, and I really like the route to get enough separation to give the quarterback enough room to put it in there. Second down with the clock ticking. To the air, it's Arnold. Tries the right with a quick throw. Plays a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. You know, the game often comes down to a play or two, and the offense just missed a huge opportunity for a big play. They're going to have to make some adjustments there, maybe go back to that play and see if they can come up with a big opportunity. Offense getting set. It's second down. Back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. And he's got his man open downfield. The timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defense coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality of seeing it now in person, I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read, puts the ball where his man can make a play on it, and they're an extra point away from tying this game up. Now they'll set up for the point after. And there's the point after. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kick up will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. They'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. 
And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown, and they keep it going. Caught over the middle. It's Coleman. The offense will take their first time out of the half, the tuck strategy here. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Hits the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. And you gotta love this if you're a defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Looking to pass, it's Thorne. Receiver makes the catch. Now the offense will spend the time out here wanting to come up with a perfect call on this important play coming up. I completion sets up an important third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle, it's Coleman. That's a big game, the offense is threatening now. Spot the ball at the 22. The offense spends their final time out of the half here to talk strategy. Auburn getting set with a first and ten coming up. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. For a few play quarterback, how about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely? Chris, it's not just his route running. It's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really, I think, is unique. They put so much time into this in the offseason. By the time they get to Saturdays, you can close your eyes and make your throw. It's exactly what we saw right there. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Sooners offense is back on the field. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half backed up near their own end zone. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. The Sooners will kick it deep to begin the second half. And here's the return from inside the five. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the offense back on the field again. Dropping back, it's Thorne. Let's it go quickly. Makes the catch downfield. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop, and you see where you want to go with it, put it right on his shoulder for a first down. First and 10 play coming up. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Nice grab. It's Burton. My completion makes it second down. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back just seems to have a nose for that first down marker. A few more runs like this, he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. 
Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Looking for some space. It's Hunter. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. But these are the type of runs that begin to wear down your defense psychologically. Already have the lead. Come out with a nice big gain. And this defense is thinking, oh no, here we go again. Really nice statement here to get this second half started. Quarterback keeps the football. It's a one-yard gain, second and nine coming up. Now, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Offense getting set, second down play here. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. I tried to use the stiff arm there. The defense corrals him quickly. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Caught over the middle. It's Burton. The reception hits about seven yards, but fourth down coming up here. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. This is a daunting attempt from 54 yards out. Let's see if he's got the leg. And this one is right through. And they add to their lead. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Tackle at the 13. Now great field position to start the drive. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. Opening play of the drive, quick throw to the left. Now the receiver does all the work here, man. That is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver. Gets the separation. And at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. The Sooners come to the line to run the hurry up. Makes the handoff here. Looking to throw it. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Solid game there. Moves the ball out to the 32. But when they're throwing the football like this, it is really hard to defend this offense because of the timing of the quarterback with his wide receivers. Another good example of it there for the first down. Makes me harken back to guys like Sam Bradford and Jason White. Their Heisman campaigns and the accuracy that they threw the football with. Great example of that right here by this OU quarterback. Stop after a small gain. Now looking at second and nine. The offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. Looking to throw. It's Arnold. Receiver makes the grab. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield at the 48. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside, not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Another Oklahoma receiver making a big-time play for this offense. Man, it just seems like over the years, 
so many big time dynamic receivers have come to Norman integral piece of this offense and it gets you the yards you need and the Sooners with first and ten here caught behind the line it's Roberts and they'll step out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage there the defense pursuit forced him out Second down play coming up. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Looking to make a play deep. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. Keeping it on the ground here. Breaks loose at the 15. And he will make the first down. Tackled at the 26. Well, that gain will give them some breathing room. What a good job of being able to get them out of that hole. They're inside their own five-yard line. And on the other hand, the defense, what a missed opportunity. You had them pinned back, a chance to really, at the very least, affect field position. And now you give up a big game like this. Snags a quick throw. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Second down after that run on the previous play. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice gain. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. First down, why not keep it on the ground? And they tackle him, but a nice pickup on that running play. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Off target and incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he'd do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. So off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the... The ball is picked off. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Boy, Chris, he hesitated just enough to give the defense a chance to get in position and come up with a big turnover.
And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. Graham behind the line. It's Sawchuk. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. The Sooners will crank up the tempo. The shotgun handoff here. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance in a really nice game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off an RPO, the quarterback looks to his right. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. We'll give it to the running back. And they pick up the first down. Tackle of the 25. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you got a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. First down, we're going to throw the ball. The sure hands, it's Roberts. A big hit by the linebacker. Physical tackle there, big versus big. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. The Sooners are going to cash in this red zone trip. Looking for some space. It's Sawchuk. He'll be brought down just a few inches short of that first down marker. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. It's a run. Running back's got it. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game to get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. And the Sooners looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Here's the handoff, one first and goal. Tackle behind the line, it's a loss of two. Because I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Might get there, brought down at the two. Chris, I just don't know about short games like this, especially keeping the ball on the ground. The clock keeps moving. They need points on that scoreboard in a hurry. You gotta throw the football. You cannot afford to allow this clock to keep ticking. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense to get this stop near the goal line. And they'll get him down that time. Tell you what, for a tired defense that's been out on that field for a long time on this drive, what a stop there on third and goal. It brings us to fourth and goal. And as a head coach on the offensive side, when you put together this kind of drive, you're this close inside the three-yard line, you've got to come away here with a touchdown. So on fourth down, the decision is to try out the field goal team. 
here we go. We'll start the fourth quarter with a field goal attempt. Field goal try. No good. He missed it. After the miss, they're still down by 10. Oh, off the upright there. Boy, he hit it clean. It was end over end. I thought it had a real chance, and the ball just kind of kept moving on him, and then doink right off the upright. And the Auburn offense back out on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. Off the play fake on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Hunter. They stop him after a six-yard game. So second and four. That's a much better job by this quarterback of working through his progressions. We've seen him earlier try to force some throws, trying to make a big play. This time, works through his progressions, checks it down into the flat, and picks up some positive yards. They'll run it here. The running back has the ball. It tests the middle, but gets stopped. That run goes nowhere. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. To throw, it's Thorne. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. Well, the defense gets these guys to third down. They get a chance to get them off the field, and instead, they give up the first down. So the clock will continue to move, and the defense is really at the mercy of this offense at this point. Auburn getting set with a first and ten now. Ending off on the draw play. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it in correctly. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. That's caught. It's Lambert Smith. It's a big gain across the field down inside the 35. The defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. Well handed off. And the player is down injured after that last play. Looks like a timeout while they check him out. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And that run produces a decent game. And that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. When offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. So let's see what the play caller likes here on third and short from the plus 27. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, it seemed like the offense is trying to throw some kind of misdirection with that run there. But give credit to the defense. They were prepared for anything, and they swallowed that running back up. Nice defensive stand. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And that one straight down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Return starts from inside the five. 
Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Sooners offense is back out on the field. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Pulls it in. It's Anderson. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. They get some positive yards in the opening play of this drive. They need two touchdowns. So anything to move them closer to that first touchdown is always going to be good. The Sooners hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. And the back gets the football. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Hey, it's a nice pickup. You got the first down on the ground. That's a great job. But remember, it's a two-possession game. You got to pick it up a bit. This defense will welcome those kind of plays all game long because the clock will keep moving. So you got to put that ball in the end zone and try to get the ball back. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Caught quickly. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Hey, that's what you're looking for right now as an offense. Nice big chunk play like that. Moving the ball now into plus territory. Keep looking for those big plays downfield and hope to be able to get the ball into the end zone. No huddle now for the offense. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. On this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. So, second down after the incompletion. To throw, it's Arnold. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Tackle quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. With great slant by the receiver. What I love is the quarterback found the window that he wanted to make the accurate throw. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Caught over the middle. It's Anderson. Tackled at the 33, that's good enough for a first down. I love to see this team fighting the way they are. Picking up a first down on that third down shows you they still believe. They still think they got a shot to come back and compete in this game. The Sooners starting a new series here on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. God, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. Incompletion makes it second down. Looking to throw it again. He's moving out of the pocket. Seven-yard game sets up a third and three. Looking to run some tempo here. Dropping back. It's Arnold. He's moving out of the pocket now. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Boy, this is so deflating for this defense on third and short. Good coverage downfield. They take away all the short routes, but the one guy that they don't account for is the quarterback in his legs. Picks up the first down by being athletic there and great awareness. And the long drive continues. The offense just grinding away here. He'll hand it off. 
And they tackle him, but a solid gain down to around the five-yard line. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. The Sooners looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Looking to pass this time. Makes the catch. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. That's a crucial score for it. Makes it a one possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. Momentum is starting to tilt, and it's your job to go into your four-minute offense. But I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Arbor offense is back out on the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away. Chew on the clock. How will they call it here? Makes the catch. It's their way. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. But how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. If the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. Bringing pressure. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Second and long for this offense after the sack. An inside give now from the shotgun. And tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, here we go, Chris. One of the biggest plays of the game. Third down and long with the lead. Late in the game. Clock is running. I think this is the time you call one of your favorite plays on this third down. At the same time, be very mindful. You cannot turn the football over. Third down play for this offense. Scanning the field. It's Thorne. Looking right. This one caught. It's almost like they don't have another receiver to throw the ball to. This guy's been making all kinds of plays today. And this time, he decides to show off some fancy footwork and somehow stays in bounds. The punt team making their way on the field. See if he can make a play on this return. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Sooners offense is back on the field. Short pass finds the tight end. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. This is all you can hope for, really. The defense does their job. You get the offense back out of the field. It's a one-possession game. It's up to this quarterback in this offense to deliver, and they're off to a good start here. The Sooners looking to use the up-tempo offense here. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Breaks loose at the 45. Good enough for first down yardage. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be?
Off the play fake, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Roberts. A big hit by the linebacker, able to knock him down. This is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Now it's second down here. Off here from the shotgun. Get some space around the 30. You bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. And the Sooners are going to keep this drive rolling. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking downfield, it's Arnold to avoid the rush and just gets rid of it. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Well, this is it. Late in the game, really tight situation. This is what separates a good quarterback from a great quarterback. Can he come up with the play to keep this drive alive? And he'll drop back here on third down. On the run here. Let's it go. Oh, he misfires again. Three in a row. So down six, they need a touchdown. They'll go for it on fourth down. They need to convert. He'll drop back. Pulls it in. It's Roberts. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Anytime you're trailing like this in the fourth quarter, of course you've got to go for it on fourth down, and they get it done to extend the drive. Catch made over the middle. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Chris, this is almost like taking a sack. We're talking about a completion for a loss. Every yard is precious. So going backwards, obviously counterproductive to say the least. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Finds his man. It's Burks. Butter scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for the defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. So here we go, third down in the red zone, the kind of play that decides football games. And it's caught! Touchdown, Oklahoma! What a job by this offense. They work the ball down the field into the end zone to tie this game up but with under two minutes to go. They're an extra point away from taking the lead. Here comes the point after attempt. Crucial PAT is good. They're in front by one here in the fourth. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. Last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? Scanning the field. It's Thorne. Off target with the throw. Incomplete. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. 
And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Caught over the middle. It's Burton. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Offense needs points quickly here, trying to dial up some explosive plays. Let's see what they've got called. Makes a spectacular diving catch. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. But I'll tell you what, this guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to it. The offense spikes the ball here, looking to preserve as much clock as they can. Getting set. Here's second down. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Back to pass. It's Thorne. Let's it fly out of the... And he throws his third interception of the day. Can he take it all the way? Across the 40. That's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. Well, that defender deserves the game ball for that game-sealing play. Now all there is to do is run out the clock and walk out of here with a W. linebacker shifting around now so with the lead secure here it's time to just take a knee run out the clock and plan the victory celebration 